Hello, hello, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome into Dragonfly Spirit. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of April the 10th until the 16th, 2023. So we're going to see. Um, this is, for those of you that do not know, this is strictly a Scorpio channel. I do a lot of readings during the week. I try to do a, a daily reading on Mondays. I have decided that I will do one weekly and then the next few days I will do dailies. Okay, so we are going to be pulling from six different decks because um, we are going to be concentrating in whatever is going to happen within the next seven days okay so let's see what we have for you here scorpio i also may be talking to a cross watcher for those of you that are looking to book a reading all the information is listed in the description box below all right let's see we already have how many we have okay so we got four i'm gonna take those four and we're gonna see what we have for you scorpio club Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Somebody may be trying to manipulate you into being part of a dark side, okay? Something that you do not want to do. Listen, sometimes you don't want to be involved in trouble, you know? Um, you also have here dragon. Beware of disillusion, delusion okay so some of you listen stop making things up in your mind you know stop making things up that that's what i'm hearing you also have here rose romance is in the air okay and you also have here mule someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change listen we can't change anybody Absolutely no way in hell that we can actually change anybody. You know, people are the way that they are. If this person is manipulative and you're trying to figure out how you're going to change this person or they're stubborn or they're just got to have it their way or the highway, you know, they're just being, you know, they're just like, this is what I'm going to do and this is what we're going to do. And, you know, things like that just really don't work out in the long run, you know. Please, universal energies. I'm, You know what? I'm going to put all of them back. I only need one. Okay. I keep getting multiple. I'm just going to take one. Okay. So, yeah, cancel all of these. Scorpio. Okay. So, you have here embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Isn't it nice when you, when, I always say this, isn't it nice when you cuddle up with somebody and they feel like, you feel like you're a pu puzzle that just fell into place. You just fell into place. It's like perfect. You know, for, so for some of you, you know, this could be the situation, you know, you're having to, you know, embrace somebody. Listen, hug somebody. Okay. Hug somebody today. All right, we're also going to be pulling out from the yin yang oracle to see what we have. Let me get three messages. Something that maybe you need to focus on this week. I don't know if we should make it one, but listen, I already said three, so we're going to focus on three. Okay, please, universal energies for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'm all right, way too many. All right. Please, universal energies. Let me get three. There we go. Twin flames. That's what you got. Twin flames. Some of you could be coming into contact with this person. Some of you are with this person. Learning lessons from them. Learning lessons between one another. Because you know what? Twin flames mirror each other, you know? It's almost like two identical bodies. And then everything that you hate about that person, you know, is because you hate it within yourself. You know, you also have here present, gratitude and abundance, okay? So for some of you, sit in the present time, sit in the present moment. You know, some of you are looking to enjoy you know, some kind of abundance. I'm hearing the word sunset. So for some of you, you could be going on a trip somewhere. Okay. Um, there's a sunset here. Okay. But I just heard it. So, you know, some of you, you know, you could be 
um, having to meditate, having to sit back, having to kind of relax a little bit. You also have here fulfillment and wish. I love this card. Isn't it fucking cute? Okay, there's a genie lamp here. So for those of you that are making wishes, listen, fulfillment is going to come. Your wishes will be granted. For those of you that are on the right track, for those of you that are here doing the work every day, trying to figure out, you know, what is up with your life, your past life, your spiritual life, how do you, are you going to handle the physical, the mental, the spiritual, you know, everything, you know, for those of you that do the work, listen, we have high roads to, to walk, you know what I mean? High roads to kind of, you know, that leads you to success. Okay. So let's see. I almost got stuck there. <laughs> Please, Universal. And, and those were not even the words that I wanted to say, you know? Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. I mean, I wanted to say that, but not in those words. I was trying to find something better. But my brain just didn't let me. Okay, so you have here the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you are living in your abundance. You're living in your riches. You know, there's just no other way how to say it, Scorpio. Some of you are really enjoying your time, your money, your spending money, <laughs> you know, you're looking good. Um, you know, you're just, you're just all in yourself. You know, you're like, you know what? I have worked my ass off to get to where I am. And it's time for me to sit back and relax. Listen, I'm ordering online. That's what I heard. Okay, so some of you... You could be going on a shopping spree, you know? You could be feeling like, you know what? I got the money. I'm going to fucking do it, you know? <clears throat> Please, Universal Energies. Let me get one more because I got this one. Let's see. I need one more. You get the Eight of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like you quickly moved away from a situation. It was like, you know what? You know what? I'm out. Can't do this. You also have here the Six of swords definitely moving away some of you like i said taking a trip some of you are taking a trip okay that's what i'm, I'm picking up some of you are going to maybe go to a sandy beach you're gonna relax you know you're like you know what i need some space in my life i need a little bit of peace i need a little bit of to get away from anything that's noisy that's what you're gonna do you know, you have here um, as the bonus, the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, I feel that right now, if you are making or receiving offers, they are small offers, okay? There, there's nothing that's going to be so big that it's going to like shake your world, okay? Um, somebody could be trying to offer you something very small and you're like, I'm kind of loaded already. Like, I just need, like, one more pentacle before I reach my full abundance, you know? All right, so let's see what we have here. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Nine of pentacles. Why is it here? Nine of pentacles. Let's see what we have here. Scorpio, you have here the ten of cups. Total fucking happiness. Okay, so total happiness. Some of you are like, you know what? I am sitting in my own bowl of happiness, you know? Um, you also have here the four of pentacles. Some of you are holding on to your money. Listen, if, sometimes, listen, if you are successful and you're like, you know what? I just want to hold on to my money for a little while. You know, you can do that. But you know what? Sometimes if you spend a little bit, wisely you're only showing the universe that you just need to make some more you know and with the four of pentacles some of you you know you you know for others of you i'm gonna tell you you're dealing with somebody who's cheap okay there's no other way how to say that okay there's just i had to throw that out there but with the four of pentacles i feel like some of you are holding on to your independence you're holding on to your happiness i feel like you're, you're like you know what i'm going places i'm doing things all right, why is the uh, Eight of Wands here? Eight of Wands. Why is it here? Oh, my God, beautiful. You get the world. I mean, not the world. 
<clears throat> you get the full energy, okay? So starting up a brand new chapter, some of you are finally saying, you know what, I'm taking the risk. I don't do reversals for those of you that see me turn any card over. You have here the seven of pentacles and the three of cups. So I feel that it's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. It's time to stop investing in things that no longer um, are, are helping you grow. You know, I feel like some of you are ready to take this step into a brand new life, you know, with the full energy here and the six of swords. Some of you are saying, you know what? I'm fucking done with this. I'm done. Why is the six of swords here? Six of swords, eight of wands. So you get the eight of wands, not once, but twice. Okay, so definitely taking some action, moving on, definitely taking some action. And here is your last pentacle. Didn't I say you were missing one pentacle? So now some of you are going to end up super fucking abundant. I, I don't even know what you're going to do, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to have the 10 of pentacles. You're going to have everything that you want, everything that you have worked for, everything. You're going to have it all Scorpio. Okay. For those of you that are doing the work, for those of you that are doing the correct thing, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to have it all. I said it in the beginning, you're just missing one more pentacle and the one more pentacle is here. Some of you are starting something new. Some of you, I'm going to tell you, you could be moving from one job to another simply because you know what? They're going to, they're going to pay you more money. Okay. All right. So here we go. Scorpio, one last message for guidance. One last message for guidance. Please, universal energy, spirit guides. All right. Only the top one, accept yourself. While there's time, and while there's a time and a place for self-improvement, today's focus is everything that already that is already great about you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let go of who you think you should be and fall madly in love with who you are in this very moment. Listen, the present time is everything, okay? People who live in the past miss the, miss the present moment and people who live in the future also miss the present moment. Oh my God, I can't even speak. Some of you may not even be talking to this person for the, oh, I was going to say for the first time, there's no swords here, but yeah, there are. And some of you are moving away because you just don't want to talk anymore. All right. So you have here, um, when you accept yourself exactly as you are, you shift from living for today to living for tomorrow. Accept yourself, sweetheart. Accept yourself, okay? Accept who you are. Accept you are who you are this week. You know, look at what we have here. It's time to stop procrastinating. I felt like I had to say that to someone. You know, take action in what you are having to do and what you are moving along with. But like I said, some of you could be dealing with a, a twin flame. And I'm going to tell you, this situation could, could just be over because... You know what? Everything has been said. Everything has been learned. And now it's time to progress. Okay? So listen up. I am going to leave this here. Scorpio, thank you so much for being here and take care.